Hello there, and you're once more welcome to the Glory Realm Devotional. God has something beautiful for you. The blessings of God is coming your way right now. I decree it is well with you. I sense somebody not feeling too fine. Some symptoms of infirmity. I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. I command your body to begin to receive strength. The healing power of God is released upon you right now through whatever device you're watching hearing the sound of my voice i command that infirmity to live now in the name of jesus your foul spirit of infirmity take your hands off the people of god take your hands off that life and i speak peace upon that life somebody troubled in your mind i speak peace upon the, your mind in the name of jesus what you are anxious about i decree the grip of the enemy is broken off in and you have the victory as you step out the victory will fall in place in jesus name hallelujah god has something beautiful for us he loves us so much he will go all all the way in fact he went all the way all the way to calvary to die to set us free just to give us eternal life just for you and i to be part of life eternal so we wouldn't have to die you know in living in sin and he's done something glorious for us we've escaped eternal damnation and we have eternal life hallelujah there's no better life than the life lived in christ jesus the blessings and the glory of god are real and if you're losing or if you're missing any receive more today in jesus mighty name we pray we're still on the sermon on the mount and looking at matthew chapter number seven and the, the, the words of Jesus Christ calling the people's attention to be careful and to beware of false prophet. He said, beware of false prophet from verse number 15. So we've read up to verse number 19, um, 18, 19. Now let's look at that in, from verse number 18. It says, a good healthy tree cannot bear bad worthless fruit. Nor can a bad diseased tree bear excellent fruit, worthy of admiration. Now, take note, this is the year of the exceptional glory. If you want to have excellence, if you want the glory of God, the exceptional glory to, of God to be revealed in your life, then you have to separate yourself from evil. If your nature is evil, there's no way you can bear good fruit. Exceptional glory is the unfolding of the glory of God that is on the inside of us. Now, if you don't have the glory of God on your inside, then you cannot manifest the glory of God on the outside. And that is the reason why you cannot change yourself or cut off the blessing that is meant for you by continuing life the way it has been. Now, this is what is expected of you. You are expected to live the life that will bring glory to God. And that is not possible by your own abilities. And that's why Jesus said, a good tree cannot bear bad fruit. And likewise, a bad tree, a diseased tree, cannot bear good fruit. Now, a life that is lived outside, outside God is a disease like a diseased tree. It cannot bear good fruit. But a life lived in God has received the nature of God. And there's this uh, ability that comes upon that person. John chapter number 1 verse number 12 says, As many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. All right? He gave them power, even to them that believe in, him, believe in his name. And then 2 Corinthians chapter number 5 makes it clear verse 17 if any man is in christ he is a new creation all things have passed away and all things have become new but you see you will need to be in christ to be able to have the new nature 
So if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. So your nature of sin, the disease, the nature, has to be completely taken out of the way. You lay that on the altar and he gives you a new life. You become dead to sin and alive to righteousness. And that is when you are able to bear good fruit. All right. So if somebody has not gone through the conversion process, you're listening to somebody who is who claimed to be the servant of God and he's preaching the gospel, but you have never ever heard of his conversion experience. There is no evidence, even if he says something that looks like conversion, there's no evidence that there's a difference between the life of an unbeliever that somebody who is not uh, a Christian born again from his life. There's no difference. If there are no difference, then it is obvious he has not gotten rid of the old nature, what Jesus called the diseased nature. And definitely he is going to produce bad fruit. It is natural for someone who has not met the Lord Jesus who, whose nature has not been changed to produce bad fruit. No matter how he tries, when the sheep are down, he is definitely going to act his nature out. And so, for you to be able to see the true nature of God made manifest in and through your life, you need the nature of Christ. And you see, the one who claims to be a prophet of God but has not really had an encounter with Jesus. He can only act, but he does not know the Lord. He can make use of the religious language, praise the Lord, hallelujah, God bless you, and you know, goes on and on, but you know, the real thing is missing. You see, with these people, God will honor his name when they try to, you know, pray for the sake in the name of Jesus, he will honor his name. He will honor his word when they read the scripture because the word in itself is powerful, all right? But God knows that these ones don't belong to him. And it would be a very big mistake for you to follow such persons. Tomorrow I'm going to talk more about this kind of persons and how you get to know. Jesus talked about them, all right? You can read on in the passage before we get to talk about it tomorrow. But you see, you don't want to go the way of such persons. You want Jesus to be the Lord and Master of your life. So why don't you ask him? If you discover that there's not much difference between the life you claim to have in Christ and the life that you, 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 you've been having all this while, if all that changes just your activities, then you've not become born again. You need to have Jesus in your heart. And you need to repent of your sin be sorry, so, I mean, be sorry for your sin and ask God to take it out. And when that happens, your life will never be the same again. Let's ask Him right now. Say, Lord Jesus, please give me the newness of life. I am tired of my old nature. I don't want to continue this way. I remember, I, I, today, I repent of my sins and recognize that I am a sinner. And I need your help. Please help me. Take over my life. Make me yours. Write my name in the book of life. Release your precious Holy Spirit upon me. And let me live the victorious life. I proclaim you today as my Lord and personal Savior. In Jesus' name. If you pray that prayer, I believe you have begun the process. But you see, don't stop by just repeating the word. Live the life. Ask God to give you the grace to live the life. And he will be glorified through your life. Thank you for being part of today's broadcast. Till I come your, come your way tomorrow. This is Ego Lewis. Yet we will. God bless you. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Thank you, Lord.
Amen.